Okay, this is part two of my colonoscopy vlog. This is where the fun, exciting stuff happens. So just a little recap, I had my final dinner, which was the pork and noodles and carrots, so good. Followed up with some Dairy Queen. Oh my God, it was so tasty. And now I wanna go get some ice cream right now. But yeah, finish out strong before you have to start your fast because it's, it's really not all that fun. So I woke up early and I immediately wanted to weigh myself to see what my starting point was. And being vulnerable here, 132, not too bad. So immediately want to start making my jello. I should have done this the night before, but that's all right. And we're sticking with the green to be safe. I got the lime and the green apple flavors. And I'm just following the box instructions to the best of my ability. I was hoping to make jigglers so that it'd be more solid, but I didn't really have enough. Like you need more gelatin and less water. And I figured volume would be in my favor anyway. So I just followed the box instructions. About two hours later, I decided it would be time to try and enjoy some coffee. I went with the roasted hazelnut. I figured a flavored coffee might be enjoyable without cream and sugar. Although I could put sugar in. I just, I don't ever rarely put sugar in my coffee. And it was not that good, really. I, I don't know. I admire people that can drink it black. I've tried, I just am not that gal. I did remember that I had bone broth in my freezer. And so I figured I'd pull some of that out and get that going. Um, I put some in a bowl to microwave and then I ended up melting the rest in a pan on the stove top so I would have it kind of at my disposal throughout the day. I really love bone broth and I try and make it whenever I make a whole chicken or if I have any chicken bones at all, I will simmer them for about 24 hours or longer and it ends up just delicious. Then I decided it was time to enjoy some of my jello. And I I have to be honest with you, I am not crazy about jello. Like it kind of makes me gag a little, the texture. I don't know, I got this craving for something salty. I decided that I would drink some pickle juice. Um, it's really tasty. So I was so tempted to just pop one of these pickles in my mouth. I'm very proud of myself that I didn't. I was so afraid I was gonna do something mindless this day and like accidentally eat something without thinking about it. But pickle juice is a great way to actually like reestablish your electrolytes if you've been sweating. I was not sweating. I just wanted something salty to drink. <laughs> and eventually my stomach started to get a little uneasy just from the lack of food. And so I sipped on some ginger ale and then it soon was time to start the fun and i started that off with two dolcolax laxatives at five o'clock and then i filled up my drink my prep solution at the same time and did my best to dissolve it by shaking it it was kind of tricky like it was all kind of sticking at the bottom and then i put my prep solution in the fridge to get nice and cold apparently it's good to drink cold it's easier to drink when it's cold i recommend finding a good spot for it before you mix it up because that thing was huge and then I sipped on some more bone broth to settle my stomach because I knew things were gonna kick off here very soon. So one of the tips I read was that your, your back door is gonna get sore from going so much and to use like Andy ointment. And I found this in my closet. I have no idea how old it is, but it helps to prevent diaper rash. So I'm gonna apply this to my back door now and I take my first round of prep here in like less than 15 minutes. Okay, starting like five minutes early here because I'm anxious to see what this tastes like. It smells like lemons because I put lemon flavoring in. My heart is racing, I'm really scared. Okay. Ok, 
okay. It's kind of salty. It's not as bad as I was expecting. Kind of salty and not very lemony. Um, sweet. Doesn't taste like fake sweet or anything. Um, all right, so I'm gonna try and just, I guess I need to drink it quick. So here we go. It has like a texture to it. Like it's kind of like slimy or something. Like it, it's a little bitter on the back of the tongue. And it's just like not that good. All right, first cup down. Setting a timer Ugh, for 15 minutes. <clears throat> I gotta get all the way down to here. some of this to help the flavor. Golden cherry liquid IV. Just a little. Nope, that made it worse. Tastes like medicine. Okay. Something's happening. I've had two cups. Something's happening. It's starting. Oh my God. All right, I have been sitting on the toilet for I think about 30 minutes. Um, I'm just like, I, I don't wanna get up and go too far just in case. And it's, I'd say it's pretty much all liquid coming out at this point. Um, which is good, I think. I'm just wondering, like, I, have, I think I have one more cup left to drink and then half will be gone. I'm just wondering when it stops because I'm wondering, like, can I go to bed? Am I gonna need to get up in the middle of the night and go? I guess we'll find out. But overall, this has not been as awful as I thought it was gonna be. No, it doesn't taste good. I did find that putting the true lemon powder on my tongue beforehand kind of helps a little bit. But um, yeah, overall, I'm gonna give it like a four out of 10 <laughs> experience. So it's the big day of the actual colonoscopy. I woke up early and got my teeth brushed and I wore this fun shirt because, you know, I figured my stomach's empty and that's sort of like the mood I'm in. <laughs> and I needed to start my second round of prep at 6.45. And before that, I wanted to really rehydrate myself. So I did a big old glass of liquid IV which I, I love that stuff so much. So I drank half of that before I started the second round of prep. And um, yeah, I was really kind of scared to be honest because it, it was just, it's not tasty at all. And I was really kind of wishing I could just have a hot coffee with some cream. my heating pad because I'm very cold because this is cold but it actually tastes better today and this is my last cup cheers Ugh, done we are officially four hours away from my surgery time and I just finished um, my last drink I, here until I arrive at the center I'm not allowed to have anything else by mouth so and I, it's surprising me I'm not hungry right now um, my stomach was growling a little bit this morning but I'm not feeling overwhelmingly hungry which is good the prep was so much easier today because the liquid was cold and the liquid it was just liquid coming out so it didn't feel as like gross you know what I mean and you know I think that I stopped going to the bathroom around 8 30 last night and couldn't really sleep very well I'm not anxious at all I just like feel like I have a lot of energy and I'm not sure why, but I am just gonna look forward to my little anesthesia nap this afternoon. And um, <laughs> I'm really looking forward to, I don't even know what I'm in the mood for, but I'm excited to have my first meal um, after everything's said and done. I decided to weigh myself before we left and I lost quite a bit of food and water weight. And soon enough, we were on our way. And next part is me waking up from anesthesia. So enjoy. <laughs> uh, I was talking. 
<laughs> I was talking to some guy. <laughs> I wish I knew what I was saying. I have a little buddy in my bow. They were giving me the anesthesia and I wasn't... They didn't tell me they were just doing it. Now I want to sit up a little bit. I think they took it out. And then they can send it off to the lab. And do I look like I have a mass tired? It looks like you were laying on your left side of your face. I'm a biohazard. That tube was huge. It was, it was like as long as this room. Oh my God. Should I keep this on? I don't think so, because I'm not in surgery anymore. I need a drink. I can't wait. Yeah, I was talking. This nurse is talking to me. And I'm like, oh, I feel burning. She's like, that's the anesthesia. <laughs> is it no warning? It's a rip me in because it's the void. But it was great. <laughs> One pollen, 25 minutes, right? My pole feels fine. It's nothing I'm not used to. A pollen. A what? A pollen. Oh, so good. This apple juice was so refreshing and delicious, but I was really wanting some caffeine. I actually had a headache going into the surgery center because I needed caffeine so badly. So we went to Starbucks and I got an iced pumpkin spice latte. It was perfectly made. And then we got some Chipotle with chips and salsa. I steered away from spicy. Um, to be gentle with my bowels, but yeah, it was so good. All in all, this experience was really not that bad. I was expecting a lot worse, but it's truly a very smooth procedure, I think. And if you need it done, this is your sign. Call and schedule that appointment. Get yourself checked out. Your health really matters. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching.